Hello, my name is Michael Watson. I'm a composer and music producer. Hello, my name is Michael Watson. I'm a composer and music producer. Hello, my name is Michael Watson. I'm a composer and music producer, and I'm teaching you through Ableton Lab Manual. And today, I'm going to be talking about grouping tracks. So, if you've got more than one track that are in the same category, say for instance drums, then you can highlight both of those tracks by just clicking one, shift clicking the other one right clicking or control clicking and going group tracks. Now you can see you get this other track that kind of looks like it has its arm around those two tracks. This is just a new kind of like a track that's holding these two tracks together so that if you ever want to process these two tracks as though they're one, for instance you want to change the volume of both of them to the same proportion, you can just change the volume of the group track. You can do a whole lot of other cool things like you can put effects in group tracks and so if you want to say EQ all your drums the same way, you can do that right over here. But another really cool thing you can do with grouping tracks is you can go to this little triangle and you can close it. And basically you're folding the tracks in, which saves a lot of space, especially if you've got a big project with a million different hi-hat samples or a million different vocal chopped samples and you kind of want to keep them organized. If you go into arrangement view, this is what a group track looks like. And you can just hit that triangle to fold it in. <laughs> Group tracks themselves can't contain clips, but as you can see, they are similar to audio tracks just because they've got a mixer, they've got fader, they've got this pan control, your mute, your solo. Also, if you look at this in out, by default, if you've got a group track, it's gonna go to your audio master. And if you look at the individual tracks inside the group, you can see that the audio too is going to the group. This is the default setting. And if you wanna send these individual audio tracks to different things, you're gonna have to change that here. Another thing to note that if you delete a group, you delete everything inside the group. It's all gone. However, if you want to dissolve the group, i.e. you just want to have these two tracks again that aren't connected with the group, you can just hit command shift G and you're going to ungroup it. Or you could also just right click or control click and go ungroup tracks. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about return tracks, which are these guys over here and you get them by hitting on this R. I'll be explaining what they are and how to use them and how they are different to grouping tracks.